Hello everyone. Let's start alkynes. Alkynes are hydrocarbon having two pi bonds between two adjacent carbon. Like this is the alkyne. The smallest alkyne is acetylene. This is the alkyne. You know all these. Now the hybridization of this carbon is sp2 this bond angle is 180 degree and uh, uh, the nomenclature too you must be knowing so we i'm not going to waste much of the time in introducing alkynes to you this is what alkyne is and let's straight away start studying the method of preparation of alkynes Alkynes can be produced by various methods and the first method is through elimination. Suppose I have vicinal dihalide. In this vicinal dihalide, I am going to add alcoholic OH- now alcoholic OH- minus is a base and aqueous OH- minus is a nucleophile. This perhaps we know since time immemorial. And alcoholic OH- minus being a base carries out elimination. Now there are two leaving group, there are two halogens here. So there two elimination could be possible and we'll carry both of them one by one. Now this halogen will leave if we abstract a hydrogen from this carbon and this halogen will leave if we abstract a hydrogen from this carbon. So let me start with this carbon because this carbon is having less entrance, it is on the terminal position. So let's first carry out elimination on this carbon, carbon number 1. If we do that and for that let me write it properly showing the bond between carbon and hydrogen and also anti bonding molecular orbital the first time when elimination will occur this hydroxide is going to abstract this hydrogen so hydrogen is going to form a bond with oxygen leaving its electron into the orbital of carbon and that electron is going to move into the anti bonding molecular orbital so this carbon is going to gain electronic density so it is already having its tetravalency fulfilled. It is having already making four bonds, so it cannot gain more electron into this anti-bonding molecular orbital without losing some electronic density from some other bond. So it has to lose some lose some electronic density, and this is the bond from which this carbon is going to lose some electronic density because if it loses some electronic density, this halogen gains electron, and this halogen is pretty good with holding electron this R is not. So this bond will not lose electron. So electron is coming in antibonding and from the front side from the bonding orbital carbon is going to lose some electron and that is going into the orbital of halogen. So this halogen is going to come out because this bond is in the process of cleavage. This bond is in the process of cleavage. So this H plus is and this OH minus are together going to form water this carbon and this carbon will form a bond because electronic density is being transferred from this orbital to this orbital so half of the electronic density will go to this orbital and then there will be an overlapping between these two orbitals so what we will have is one pi bond will develop between carbon this is the halogen this halogen remains untouched because we are not carrying out elimination via this halogen this halogen comes out and there's a water formed between H plus and H2O, OH minus. We get H2O. So now we have this. As you can see, we have already have got one pi bond. Now we have to get one more pi bond in order to get alkyne. And we can get one more pi bond when we carry out the elimination for the second time through this halogen. So uh, when we do that, uh, let me show this bond of carbon and hydrogen and let me show antibonding of this halogen of carbon fine so once again we are ready to carry out elimination and let's try carrying out elimination once again 
Now, once again, when this hydrogen or hydroxide ion comes to abstract this hydrogen, this time the job for hydroxide ion is a difficult one compared to the last time. Because last time hydroxide ion was abstracting hydrogen from this carbon and look at this carbon, this carbon is sp3 hybridized, making four sigma bonds. This time this carbon is sp2 hybridized because this carbon is making one pi bond. sp2 hybridized carbon has higher electronegativity value than sp3 hybridized carbon has higher percentage s character. That makes this carbon make stronger bond than sp3 hybridized carbon. So this carbon-hydrogen bond is a strong bond than this carbon-hydrogen bond because of high percentage S character of this carbon. So the bond being stronger, this hydroxide ion has to put up greater effort in order to abstract this hydrogen. So uh, this time hydroxide ion will not be able to abstract this hydrogen. Now there is no particular value of the bond strength that you have to remember that above this value hydroxide ion cannot abstract, below this value hydrogen hydroxide ion can abstract. But what you do have to remember is with sp3 hybridized carbon hydro hydroxide ion will abstract hydrogen, with sp2 hybridized carbon hydroxide ion will not be able to abstract hydrogen. This is the information for you and you have to remember this. So this hydroxide ion will or alcoholic hydroxide will not be able to carry out the second elimination step this being a weaker base so we need a stronger base than hydroxide ion that will abstract this hydrogen so this step is not going to yield anything if you put hydroxide ion reaction is going to stop at this stage second elimination step will not occur this you have to remember as a information so to facilitate the second step of elimination, I have taken a stronger base, amide, NH2-. Nitrogen being lesser electronegative than oxygen, this is going to be less stable. Less stable means more reactive. More reactive means stronger base. So hydroxide ion is a, uh, this amide ion is a stronger base than hydroxide ion and this will carry out the elimination. So now it will abstract hydrogen and now electron will go from this bond into the antibonding molecular orbital. And again, carbon will lose electron from bonding molecular orbital. Now, why this happens, I have told you a million times before. So, if you have any doubt why, why if electron comes into antibonding, why electron should come out of bonding, if you have any doubt in this, you should go and revise SN2 mechanism. There, I have explained you this in length. So, this hydroxide, this, this, this living group is going to come out. This hydrogen is going to go with amide forming ammonia and the, again one more pi bond is going to form between this carbon and this carbon. So what we are going to have now is a alkyne. This X minus comes out and you have ammonia. So we, this is alkyne and we have prepared alkyne. So this is a method of preparation of alkyne. Fine. So this is one of the basic method of preparation of alkyne from vicinal dihalide.